In this tutorial, we're going to take another and deeper look at voltage-controlled amplifiers, or VCAs, using Cherry Audio's Voltage Modular Nucleus. To begin with, we're going to have a bit of fun with amplitude modulation. We'll obviously need a VCA module, so we'll go to the library and grab one, scooting it over to the middle of the rack. We'll connect its positive output to the main out's 1LM jack. Now we'll grab an oscillator, and we'll stick that in somewhere to the left of the VCA. We'll connect the oscillator's sine wave output to the VCA's input. A momentary increase of the VCA's gain knob will allow us to hear the waveform. It would be helpful if we could see that waveform, so let's grab an oscilloscope module from the library and place it to the right of our VCA. We'll patch a second cable from the VCA's positive output to the oscilloscope's input A jack. Now, cranking up the VCA's gain knob will reveal the sine wave's image in our oscilloscope's display. If we're going to modulate the amplitude, we'll need a suitable modulation source. For this, we're going to use a second oscillator module. Before connecting the new oscillator, we need to reduce the VCA's CV amount to zero, or the 12 o'clock position. For the sake of clarity, we're going to use our new oscillator's sine wave output. We'll run a cable from the output over to the VCA's CV amount. We'll set the new oscillator's range to 4. Now, we'll slowly bring in the VCA's CV amount. As you can see and hear, we no longer have a simple sine wave, but something slightly more complex. We'll try changing the new oscillator's frequency value to hear the effect. It's more interesting than a sine wave, but not terrifically musically useful at this point. We'll need to take control. We'll start by running a cable from the CV source's pitch jack to the original oscillator's pitch CV. Now we can play the pitch of our initial oscillator with incoming MIDI notes, while our second oscillator, the modulator, remains static. This technique can be used to create some interesting clangorous timbres. Let's set our modulator's frequency setting to zero. Now we'll run a cable from the CV source's pitch to our modulator's pitch CV. Playing a few notes from our keyboard reveals that our sound is a bit more musical, but has lost some of its edge. Maybe it's time to work it into a proper playable patch. We'll start by bringing in a second amplifier module and placing it to the right of the oscilloscope. We'll disconnect our first amplifier's output from the main out's 1LM jack. We'll connect the first amplifier's positive output into the new amplifier's input. We'll route the new amplifier's positive output to the main out's 1LM jack. Now we can crank up the original amplifier's CV amount knob to introduce modulation to the signal and use our second VCA's gain to control the output level. Let's turn the new amp's gain fully down and modulate it with something else. How about a third oscillator? We'll grab one and we'll set its range to low. We'll connect its ramp output to the newest amplifier's CV amount input. We've got a steady pulse. That's going to get quite annoying, but we can manually control the level with the CV amount knob. Maybe we'll turn the latest oscillator's frequency down to around negative two for a slower pulse. Let's now try modulating our amplitude modulation. 
To do that, we're going to need another amplifier and an envelope generator. Let's run a second cable from the most recent oscillator's ramp out to the envelope's gate in. Now we'll disconnect our second oscillator's output from the first amplifier's CV amount input, routing it instead to the latest amplifier's input. We'll patch this latest amp's positive output to the first amplifier's CV amount jack. Now, we'll route the envelope generator's positive output to the newest amplifier's CV amount jack. We'll set the gain of our initial amplifier to around 50 to allow our original sine wave through when the third oscillator pulses. We'll use the envelope generator to control the amount of amplitude modulation that occurs every time there's a pulse. The pitch can be controlled from our keyboard. This is a pretty cool patch, but it's just the start of what can be done. We encourage you to add more modules and experiment further.